Hey guys, and welcome back to the Cult of Vintage. It is Michael Todd. Um, so we're picking up where we left off in the last video. We are still at Roller Mills in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Um, we might end up with three parts just because there's so much to see here. Um, and I really want to give Roller Mills the shout out and the attention that they deserve. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Okay guys, I wanted to start here. We are about to enter into the magical world of smalls. Yes, we are. We're just gonna flip around here. I'm gonna give you a quick overview. A lot of really good stuff. Like I said, this, if, if you love a small, this section of the store is definitely it for you. There is so much. Oh, we got some art glass there with a little, look, I know my stuff now. I, I listen, I learn. Milli Fiore Italiano. Oh no, do we like that? In the red? Oh, ooh, she's heavy. She's definitely heavy. Um, okay, so what I can tell right now, again, you gotta ask to learn. These bubbles that we're seeing right here next to my thumb, that would indicate that it was probably a Chinese piece, yes and they have it priced accordingly, good for them. It is still beautiful, it is great for a starter collection if you just really like the color. But again, and y'all know where I got that from, right? So again, you look for those bubbles that shouldn't be there. Those bubbles like in a Murano glass would not be permissible. They wouldn't put it out on the market. So that's a no-no. <clears throat> but again, it's still, it's still a pretty piece, I mean, Unless you got somebody creeping. Ooh, we're gonna get up here. <laughs> Some books. <sighs> Down here, a little display cabinet. Right. You know what, it's so funny because I know a lot of you, you know, you say that you really like my slow camera work and now it's like I'm so conscious of it. I feel like, am I going too slow now? And then the moment I go a little bit faster, I'm like, ooh, I'm going too fast. Okay, wait. Ooh, not Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut's dead. I'm really... They want $30 for these. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that. I would prefer, the lamp that I have is a J.B. Hirsch lamp. Um, and it's got like a, it's a very Art Nouveau style. And the shades that are on it or were on it are very reminiscent of a uh, flower. So I don't know that's what we're really going for, but. Ooh, look at the color on that one. Look at the color on that one. I'm really digging that. Hold back here a little bit so you can see more. Ooh, hey, look, 20% off. <laughs> so I like this. It's pretty. They're calling it a Fenton. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's a little thin to be Fenton, to be honest with you. It could be. But like I say, when I pick it up, it's a little thin. It's a little lightweight. Don't know. Don't know about that one. Look at all of this. I know we could spend, this could be an entire video. Just one hour of looking at all of the smalls. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, here we have some pink parakeets. This is cute. Oh, jeez, Michael. They are eluding me. 30. Copeland Spode. Double parakeet. Well, you are cute, but I want to spend thirty dollars. Oh well, you know what? I actually would get six bucks off. Uh, this is French porcelain. So they have it as Joseph Petit, but it would be your French. There you go. I know it's not everybody's vibe, but I dig it. It's like chintz, you know, not everybody likes the chintz, the Art Nouveau, the Art Nouveau chintz where it's just like jam-packed with flowers. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what is going on. This one right here. Okay, so straight down. Yep. <laughs> Chaos. Oh, this is Ben's one. I want to buy Oh, we got some salt and pepper shakers again. Look at that. Sales galore, you guys. That's what I'm talking about. Pretty sure. Mm. No, that was Ben. Okay. Ben. I thought. I thought Ben turned up wrong. Yeah. All right. So here we have some salt and pepper shakers. I saw this set over here. They're cute. And again, we were in a ten percent off, three fifty. That's not bad. I don't know that they're special enough. These little deer here sitting on their booties. An Esco. They are four fifty. Yeah, I'm just kind of puttering here, so anytime you guys are ready, oh. I can be ready. I'm just kind of like taking some stuff off there. Like These little the ones here. Is that your doorstop hiding mm. back there? Look like they've seen some things, or they've been. I don't know. Their life has not been easy, has it? They looked a little spooked. I like these green fish. With them red eyes. I see these empty spaces, and I want to just fill them back in there, but it's my shelving that I'm getting rid of. Yeah, you can't be doing that. <laughs> that won't work. No. Here's some little, are these radishes? No, these are turnips. Or are they parsnips? That's a root vegetable. That's a root vegetable. What a crackle glass. <sighs> these are your tiny tinies. Yeah. Alrighty, so here we've got a big room. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of furniture with some smaller decor pieces thrown in there. Just take it all in, you guys. I'm digging this waterfall right over here. Let's get a little up close and personal, shall we? This is, it's a little bit more, um, antique isn't it, don't you think? I'm literally taking you guys along. We're just gonna bebop around. Uh oh, Michael's stomach's rumbling. <laughs> Look at this great old record player here. It is an Air King phonograph. It runs probably 78 RPMs, records, speaker not putting out. Mm. Okay. I like it though. Mm. 
anything over here. <laughs> Got some hats. There we go. You can be all the rage, ladies or gentlemen. <laughs> oh, look at that old varsity sweater. That's actually really cute. Very cute. Oh, it's Bucknell. Okay. Bucknell's here in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. So that would make sense. Got a little room of clothes. Got some jewelry. Again, a lot more hankies here hanging on the wall. And these would be great if you just want to use them as doilies for a little splash of color in your home. It'd be cute. I don't know what you are. You're a McCasket registered old store credit and register system. Yeah, that looks complicated. <laughs> like math needs to get any harder. You know what I mean? Come on now. Do you know what's super nice? There's absolutely no music playing. Ah, <sighs> take a deep breath. <laughs> We're just taking it all in. I mean, I'm not really seeing a lot, but we're here for the experience, right? A little distraction from the day. Ooh, let's go check it out. Oh, look at that curve on it with that display right in the middle. That's lovely. We love that. I do like it. 460. No bold. Oh, 460 for the set because you also get the bureau. Little chalkware pig. Dapper little fellow. All right. So we're going to actually head into another part of the ball here. Ooh. Try not to trip. <laughs> mm. Now, let's see if I can switch hands here without making you guys motion sick. But let me see if I can get a boom. Oh, and then it goes all the way down and then it loops down. And then like over to this side where this wall is, that's where all the cases were. Mm-hmm. The truth, I'm telling you. All right, guys, I'll check back with you here in a little bit. All right, guys, so I thought I would bring you into this booth. Um, if you didn't know, I am a huge sucker for Lefton, and this vendor actually has quite a few pieces. You've got a little Lefton flower fairy or flower angel bell, if you will. Adorable. Uh, we have a little Napco. Easter Bunny egg holder. We've got this nice white satin dish. Now they're actually selling the dish with all of the little chenille Easter pieces in it. I think that's cute. We've got the white left in ooh, the white left in bunnies. They're nine ninety nine. That's actually a really good deal. I actually I own those. We've got the left in lamb and pink. I believe they did do a blue. He's only eleven ninety nine. Again, that's a really good price, especially for a collector. Just gonna check it out here. Look at this. 
this boxer. Mm-hmm. He's saying, yeah, okay. Okay, Susan. Okay, Susan. That's what he's saying. They've got a lot of ephemera over here. We're going to loop around this way. I'll show you here. all the postcards they have. What? Angle you down here. Oh, we can make up one frame. This gives me Halloween. Halloween ones are so difficult to find. Though I do love a good Christmas. This one's pretty. Thanksgiving, are we? Uh, I'm just curious if they put them in holiday order now. Uh, oh, I like this one here too. Into the more traditional. Look at that Santa one there. That's nice. But you've got, I mean, you've got them everywhere. And in here. All kinds. Oh my gosh, do you guys see it? Oh, it's a light up, it's a music box. It looks like it was rewired. I don't know if you could hear it playing, but I'll try to pull back a little bit here. Or not. <laughs> Let's try that again. Hmm. Well, I swear it was playing a minute ago. It said no, no, I'm, I'm being camera shy. That's all right, we all have our moments. Regardless, it is beautiful. Ooh, $69. Somebody needs to come buy it, please, so that I don't. Okay. Look at all the beauty in here. Check that out. Let's go in for a closer look. Again, I really appreciate it when they do color stories. Got our blues, a little bit of yellow thrown in there. Ooh, it looks like we have a torpedo lampshade over here. How much? 24. That would be cool on the Frank Art lamp that I have. Mm -hmm. We're in the kitchen. Ooh, look at this opalescent juicer. Not pretty. Uh, I love a clear opalescent. What do they want for it? Uh, it's 24. Not bad. I mean, not that I really have a need for a juicer. <laughs> uh. Oh, this great green, the jadeite, uranium. Oh darn, I thought this said eight. I was like, okay, <laughs> sure. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all that. 
Love it. Hey, there's Brooke Shields. Fancy seeing you here. Ooh, I like that green stretch glass right here. You see? Isn't that pretty? I love that. Ooh, I like this little toothpick holder too. That's adorable. A little she she seashell. A little seashell. A little seashell. <laughs> uh. Good stuff. Okay, I'm really seeing some good stuff over here. In particular, what caught my eye first was this blue depression um, hand-painted or enameled candlestick. Now they do have the other candlestick down below. They also have, I'm gonna call it a console bowl right here. I mean, it's, it's you know, it needs a little cleaning, but that's all right. It's $45 for all three pieces. I think that is a fantastic deal, especially for a collector. I would really recommend it. The hand-painting, the hand painting on it <laughs> amazing condition I also found this little deer planter very reminiscent of Bambi now they do want $30 for it so unfortunately I'm not going to pick it up for resale but again as a collector I think that's a fantastic piece now this is a little bit more my style and an art nouveau now I do believe again this is a reproduction um, and the reason that I think that it is a reproduction is because when we turn it around, the mold number is really distorted. And a lot of the older pieces, they didn't use a uh, glaze on the back. Now, they typically were unpainted, but a lot of times you would find that they were unglazed. I think that's a beautiful piece uh, that doesn't actually have a price, so... We're just going to assume those babies are sleeping, right? That's, we're going to go with it. Oh, Lord. Y'all. <laughs> I have to show you this. Ooh, I saw something else. <laughs> okay. Yep, I'm just going to leave that there for a second, let you all enjoy, feast your eyes on that. You're welcome. <laughs> <coughs> now I did see that we are missing a lid. Horrible angle, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, they went 55. <sighs> no. Oh well. Such is life. Anything else? No, not really. Well, hello, Royal Copley. We got a lot of the Royal Copley planters here. Now, this one I see a lot. However, I don't often see the horses. So, where are we at? 24. Or again, really good for a collector. I wonder what they have on the deer. Deer 24. Here we have the gazelle or ibex, whichever. 20. Okay, the dog. few cracks on top. 16. Alright, so we've got a few hairlines. Still not bad. And we got the tiger. I need to show you this. Um, 
It's just some vintage stuffed 48. All right, guys, we actually are almost at the end. Um, right down there was, whoop, right down there was the land of smalls. So we're gonna check it out here. Stairbearst, ooh, look at you. Oh, that's not priced. I kind of want it. <sighs> it's not priced. And of course, we're in a, oh, call. I think that's call. Hmm. What else you got down here, sir? No. There's a Mickey Mouse phone. This great. Let's see if I can get down here. I have this Art Deco ashtray. I guess you could argue that would be a little bit mid-century, though, couldn't you? This lifts. Yep. So, you know, ash, ash, bloop. A gramophone speaker, cylinder. Lots of depression glass. Let's see here, a lot of carnival. Some figurines. Mm, again, none of them that are really screaming, take me home. <laughs> down here we have, yes, we do. We do have more postcards down here. Curious. Seven. Mm. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, but apparently roller mills used to be a flour mill. Little red bird. Ooh, not in frame. 30, ooh, it's a Fenton. Look at that one. Mm. You know what, well, let me see. Okay, so I ran a quick comp. You know, the Fenton Red Glass Bird, it's about 30 to 50. So, you know, he's a beautiful red bird. I know that there's a lot of collectors out there that like him, but I'm not gonna get him. But he does have his original sticker on, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me. Ooh, I like this little... Oh, you an ink pot maybe? At one time, what do you have a mark as? Let's see. Art Nouveau jewelry box. Hmm. Can you hear the train? We've had a train track, y'all. Oh, 
Oh, license plates. This booth looks like it's got a lot of fancy stuff. Let's check it out. And we've got some little satin glass globals down here. Ooh, I like that Fenton, the hobnail, that fan vase, the opalescent. That is pretty. Look at her little powder dish down here. <laughs> Uh. Oh, he's cool. Is that a bosun? I believe it is chalkware. No, he's serving. No, it is chalkware. Ooh. <laughs> I thought maybe it was some English chalkware. But it's not. Some oil lamps. That's a big piano, baby. Good stuff. Okay, so here we have a men's vintage barber set. Um, what I was more interested in were these two vintage clam broth barber bottles. Now, neither one indicates what would have been kept in here. I'm going to assume at one time, you know, they would have been painted on there, but they've worn off. But it's $59 for the pair. <laughs> That's a really good deal. So I thought that was really cool. And look at the little traveling set right here. That's clever. Now this booth always has some phenomenal items in it. Check it out, look at this. If you, I wonder, can we? No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> it was worth a shot. That amber dolphin bobbing away, kind of freaking me out a little bit. Ooh, that's not me. It's not me. <laughs> a lot of pretty stuff in here. These two up here playing their instruments. A lot of nice glass. face. Do you see? Let me try to get back. Look at that with the griffin handle. Oh my word. It's 150. Wow. 
Put that hand painted bird on there. Stunning. Oh, there's some fairy lamps. I like this one. I just sold one of these. That's 45 for the hand painted. I actually really like this one. That aqua glass, strawberries. Mm hmm. No, thank you. <coughs> Everybody's like, I can buy them. Look at the relish set. Some Majolica. $70 on that gurgler is not, guggler is not bad. It's probably the cheapest I've ever seen it, to be honest. I wonder how long it took this person to collect all of this. You know what I mean? Do you ever think about that when you go into a place? This was not some overnight. This is a lifetime. It's pretty amazing. Well, guys, that was it. That was Roller Mills. So I think we're on video two right now of Roller Mills. <laughs> it was well worth it. Again, I hope that you got to see that it, it, it was an antique mall full of amazing things. Again, it's just another example of a very clean, organized antique mall. And not only that, that you could really tell that a lot of the vendors really took their time and put forth the effort to display their items uh, in, a pa in an impactful manner. Um, while I didn't buy anything today, I was able to walk around and really enjoy my time, see some beautiful things. And at the end of the day, that's the priority. Um, so I hope that, again, you guys enjoyed yourself. And um, until next video, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.